Hey everybody, welcome back to Brandon's Ballistics. I'm your host, Brandon Barker, and I got my co-host, Oliver John. I uh, just, uh, he's being the box guardian right now to make sure uh, nobody gets into this battle box yet, which he failed, because uh, I've already gotten in, I already got the card out, and I uh, already got online and looked up the prices uh, for everything online to, uh, to where I'm not just showing you on screen the prices I found, but also I can see on the video what the prices I found and get a better understanding on you know, if I'm gonna, where I'm gonna put it from like it, uh, from, or well, from love it to hate it on my, uh, you know, whatever. Well, without further ado, let's get into the box. Uh, well, I guess I gotta explain Battle Box. Battle Box, this is Briefing 109. Uh, wonder if it has a theme. Uh, no. It used to say, like, uh, Briefing, you know, 109, it would say what the theme was, but, hey, man, that's right, they don't do that anymore. Uh, we're going, uh, Battle Box has a couple of different options. You got the Basic Box, uh, the Advanced Box, the Pro Box, and the Pro Plus Box. Now, what we have today is the Pro Plus Box, meaning I have every item that uh, for this month. If you only got the Basic, then you only get the Basic item. If you got the Advanced, you only, then you get the Advanced plus the Basics. Uh, if you get the, uh, the the Pro, you get the Pro, the Advanced, and the Basic, so on and so, so, on and so forth. So... Let's start off with the basic box uh, for all those basic bitches out there. And uh, <laughs> you can tell that uh, I'm not sponsored. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and open up the first item, which is a Wildland Poison Ivy Wipes. So here's the box. Uh, lavender slash grapefruit, I guess, uh, scent. RX, thoroughly wipe. Usually... I guess RX is description. Hmm. Um, thoroughly wipe skin as soon as possible after exposure to. I'm assuming that's the actual name for poison ivy. Uh, that's my best guess, or at least maybe the active ingredient in it. Uh, there's 12 wipes in here. I'm not going to open this box up because uh, you know I don't want it to spill out easy. Uh, and sadly, it's not a box I can just fold easy. But, you know, it's, it's kind of good to have Poison Ivy, especially uh, as Poison Ivy. It's good to have Poison Ivy. Uh, it's good to have Poison Ivy wipes, especially as we are getting more into the spring uh, even time. So, you know, this is a great little thing to carry on you EDC even. Especially, or at least if you're going to go hiking, an excellent thing to carry on you. Uh, I'm actually going to keep this with me. Uh, this is not, I doubt this is going to make it to the giveaway because I don't have a whole lot of Poison Ivy stuff, believe it or not. I found this online for $22.95. Uh, which is it's a little expensive, I'll be quite honest. Um, I probably wouldn't have bought this, uh, which is another cool thing about getting these boxes. It's things I wouldn't have bought. So for $22.95, you get 12 wipes. Because I've had bad experiences with Poison Ivy, I've been covered, you know, I, I've climbed close to where I live. If you do a, uh, I think it's either a three mile hike or a five mile hike. I can't remember which, up and back, you know, round trip, that is. Uh, there's a cliff. Uh, way back, you know, that I can get to from walking from my house. As a, it's pretty much all uphill, of course. But that cliff is covered in poison ivy, poison oak. Something I didn't know as a kid. So me and my cousin, uh, both my cousins actually, uh, we got covered head to toe in poison ivy. It looked like we was, you know, like it, it, we could have wrestled it in poison ivy and got less on us. <laughs> it was that bad because you got to hug the wall when you're climbing. Anyway. Um, yeah, uh, I hope you're nowhere near as allergic to poison ivy, no, because I am. I can look through stuff, break out in a horrible rash, struggle, spring, the winter, tried numerous products, nothing worked. Uh, he's saying that this worked. A few times he avoided uh, rashes altogether due to this. Other times it just greatly reduced the severity of the exposure. Uh, each wipe is 8 inches by 10 inches, lightly scented of natural lavender and grapefruit essential oils. Just uh, thoroughly wipe down any affected areas, and uh, el you'll eliminate the problem, or at least greatly reduce it. So, yeah. Uh, of course, I'm just skimming. Um, the price is what's holding me back on this one. Twenty. I mean, I guess twenty two ninety five ain't bad for twelve different instances, and I don't. I don't get poison ivy twelve times in a year, so this will last multiple years. Twenty dollars for multiple years. Yeah, uh, it's not something I'm going to be excited about. It's going to go meh. Uh, you know, 
I can't really get too excited for Poison Ivy Wipe. Sorry, guys. Uh, some people like saying that they uh, it should be at least in like it, so I'm keeping it. Um, it's just not very exciting, you know. I mean, not something I would want in the battle box. So, you know, it's, it's, I don't hate it, because I'm going to use it. So, at worst, it can go in meh. Next, something I've gotten many times in attack pack and attack pack boxes. Uh, that is the Rapid Rope Mini. So here's some utility rope. Uh, extreme utility rope, 70 feet. Honestly, uh, this time I'm keeping this. I've been having these in giveaways, but honestly, this stuff is very useful. Uh, I recently bought off Timu, and I, you know, I, I'm a little uh, sneak peek. I'm going to start a new series on my channel. Uh, uh, Timu Crap is one more title it. Sometimes I get good things, most of the time not. But uh, one of the cool things I got was if you go on Timu, which I kind of tell people to be careful on. Uh, one of the things I actually got what well, good was one of those uh, Molly slash pile webbing thing to put on your back seat. I got two of those, one for the driver's seat, one for passenger seat, and it helped me organize my truck. Uh, I got the one that has po uh, three pockets at the bottom, three pockets at the top, and then the the, ma the pals webbing, the pals webbing on top, and then pockets down below it. So this will go good in one of those pockets. So keeping this in there, this is going to be a like it item. I can't tell you how many times paracord or you know this rope in general has saved me so that's gonna be a like it item it's uh you know once again it's not exciting but you know uh they i found this online for twenty dollars and you know it is kind of expensive twenty dollars but it's decent rope next we got hot snot fire starter i found that online for fifteen dollars and 25 cents here we go hot snot fire lube in the tube uh this is going to be in a giveaway I know a lot of people has had success with Hot Snot. Um, I've watched a lot of videos where they say it's good, a lot of videos where it says bad. I've not had personal experiences with this, but I have a preferred fire tender. Uh, one of these days, it comes in like a skull can. Uh, I'll eventually do a video on what my preferred fire tender is. I do carry with me every single day. Well, at least when I have my, my jacket on. Uh, this is, I mean, it's all right stuff. The... the the thing that's holding me back is I heard it doesn't work very well with a ferro rod, which for me, your fire starter needs to work with the ferro rod. Uh, I mean, most of us are going to use a lighter, yes, but, you know, it, what's the point of carrying a fire rod if you're, you know, if the survival stuff you're trying to use a uh, you know, ferro rod with won't even work with it? So, you know, I, I, I've heard it can and I heard it came. I've seen videos where it didn't work uh, with ferro rod. Let's see if it says one here. So, uh, it's not only really cool kitchen name, but it works fantastic. When kindling is not available in your wet environment, the snot is ready for the challenge. Simply squeeze out the product like toothpaste uh, and light with a match, lighter, or even a ferro rod. Uh, works well when spread on the bottom of a log and lit. 100% made in USA. So, this is saying that it will work with a ferro rod. Uh, let me know if you want to see a video of me testing this stuff out. Because I'm curious myself. I've seen videos where it didn't work with a ferro rod, and I've not seen any that it did. So, if y'all are as curious as I am, because uh, otherwise I don't want to open it and break the seal, because this is going to be a giveaway item. But if y'all want to see it, because I can still give it away when it's open. But if y'all want to see a video seeing if this works, uh, as well as what they're saying, because it's raining and it's wet outside. So, I mean, you know, I can always do it on a wet day to see. Because if this works when it's wet, like they're saying, like when everything's damp, uh, then I may change my mind. I might say this stuff is great. If it works as they are advertising. Just the videos I've saw uh, didn't really excite me. So, for now, it's going to go in me. Actually, oh well, yeah, I'm going to put it in me because I haven't tried it myself. I want to say don't like it because the, the stuff I've seen online about it, but I, I want to make my own mind up about it. So, for now, we're going to go with meh. Okay, we got one more thing in the basic box, and that is the Silva Tracking Animal Tracking Flashcards. That has a value of $17.35. So, uh, nice small thing. It's uh, pretty much like a pack of playing cards. Tracking and awareness fundamentals. So, uh, animal track ID. Expand your uh, knowledge. Tracking is a game of deduction. Uh, I mean, that's kind of cool. Most likely, uh, the, the things were, that's, I couldn't imagine this 
coming in handy too awful well. I mean, especially at least where I live, it's not like there's gonna be a whole lot of animals. Uh, critical thinking. Uh, okay, how to use the, how you to use the cards. Another thing, how to use the cards. How to understand the walking gait. So red fox, coyote, wolf, canines in general. Wide angle vision. Uh, hmm. White-tailed deer, mule deer, elk, moose, mountain goat, bighorn. Uh, and then just things like it. Uh, unglets. Increase your awareness. Feral cat, bobcat, lynx, mountain lion, felines in general. Age and weight, you can tell. Uh, Cottontail, blacktail, jackrabbit, white-tailed jackrabbit, snowshoe, hairy rabbits. Where to find, uh, where and how to find tracks. long tail weasel, mink, River otter, badger, striped skunk, wolverine, weasels, uh, walking and stalking, uh, widow vole, house mouse, Norway rat, chipmunk, gray squirrel, muskrat, beaver, porcupine, and rodents in general, stride slash straddle slash pitch, raccoon, opossum, black bear, brown bear, and rob, R-O-B. Uh, I guess that just includes all those things. Pausing and stopping. Uh, what is tracking and awareness and what, what is tracking awareness continued a good bit of information in there honestly I think I would have rather had flashcards for plants yes you should never rely on uh, stuff like this for getting plants and mushrooms and stuff you need an actual expert in the field showing you uh, you know that's actually there with you that knows what they're talking about. Never rely uh, when you're foraging or whatever. Don't just rely on pictures and stuff like that. But it's a good start. I think that would have been better than the animal tracking uh, ID cards. Uh, I mean, I kind of already know the animal. The, all that. I mean, I grew up in the woods a lot. and spent a lot of time out in the woods. I guess for people who didn't grow up like I did, maybe this is useful. Uh, I mean, I... I there's some things I don't know the tracks of, uh, of the animals I named off here. Just uh, the most common things in West Virginia I know of already. For me, it's a meh. Uh, I hate putting that in meh because it is information, but it's just not useful information for me. So, let's see. We've got, uh, that's all of your basic box. And the basic box has a total value of $75.55. We have one like it and three mehs. Now let's go to the advanced box. That's when we're going to be leaving the mask behind, I believe. So, the advanced box is the Holtzman Neck Knife. I normally don't like neck knives, but let's see. So here's the Holtzman uh, Neck Knife. Holtzman is... Uh, I've got the Holtzman Ferrod. Uh, they make a big old beefy Ferrod. It's really, really good in my, in my experience. So... They make some cheap stuff, yes, uh, and they also make some, you know, all right stuff. Let's see what this is. Oh, wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. So, what we got here? Okay, so it's not just a neck knife. It can be an actual sheath. Okay, that's good. I was worried that this was only going to be a neck knife. So you do have an actual sheath. That's good, that you can clip on your belt or whatever. Uh, you know, there's the ultimate thank you card. There's a... Uh, free gift. That's interesting. Uh, let us know what you think on the product page. We'll send you a free gift. So, you know, I guess you have to scan that for a free gift. And, you know, talk about everything. You can follow them on Instagram and all that stuff. You know. Uh, and there's some stuff. Uh, I mean, honestly, this is a pretty, pretty nice little kit. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, ooh, they, so it comes with a ferro rod. Nice. Uh, comes with the stuff to put it together, chain, attack lock. Let's look at the knife itself. It's a small knife, pretty heavy. Ooh, it's D2 steel, so it is a, uh, a decent quality steel. Keep in mind, that means it is high carbon and it can rust. Ooh, that feels sharp. So let's see here, going to this cutting paper. Oh yeah, very, very sharp. So. It's finished nicely. Love the handles. Still has a little bit of oil on her. So, we got to clean that off. I wish they gave us a microfiber towel. Uh, nice little small knife. I mean, honestly, 
for a fixed blade knife, this was this is kind of an EDC size fixed blade. Now, most of us, including me, I carry a folding knife uh, for EDC. However, this is uh, since it's so small, and this is a nice little option if you'd want to EDC this. However, the holster make this makes it a little more bulky. So there we go. Uh, looks like you do have a sharpening stone here on the side of it to keep it. Uh, I like to know what grit that is. Uh, and of course, like I said, you got the ferro rod. Okay, you got a, a nice uh, 90 degree spine up here to be able to spark the ferro rod so you're not actually sparking on the blade itself. Pretty good. Um, yeah, uh, I actually really like this. Uh, actually, I like it so much, I'm gonna put it in love it. Uh, I actually do really like this. Kitty catcher being noisy and mean. Oh, there's the free bonus gift. Or a free free bonus gift. I don't know what it's what it's for. I guess uh oh, I guess that uh, to where you can clip it on your pocket, maybe? I'm assuming. It doesn't actually tell me what it is. And then I guess this is supposed to go there. I guess. Uh, free bonus gift. The only thing I can guess is that's to, you know, go into your pocket. Like, if you just want to EDC this, you can put it in your pocket, and, you know, that clip can hang outside your pocket, so you can actually EDC this knife. Let's see here. Holtzman simply knocks it out of the park with their blades, and his Tanto neck knife is no exception. My favorite and most used knife is a neck knife. I love that it is always close at hand and ready to work. It's also nice if I need to quickly conceal it, I can slip it down behind my shirt and nobody's the wiser. This setup comes with all you need, which is why Holtzman always, which is the way Holtzman always does it. He of course gets it, uh, the knife itself with G10 scales, green liners, and a razor sharp D2 steel Tanto blade. In addition, you get a codex sheath, paracord, ball chain, ferro rod, a steel and tech lock clip, if you don't want to use it as a neck knife, and the tool to assemble the, uh, you know, the clip itself. So, yeah, that, for me, is a love it item. Uh, that, I also agree, I knocked out of the park with that one. That's, I'm going to go and love it. See if I can push this a little bit further out the way. Sorry, Ollie, going for a little bit of a ride. There we go. Starting to run out of room. All right, and that is all for the advanced box, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Yeah. So if you got the advanced box, you get everything here. We have one love it, one like it, three mads, and your, uh, oh, I'm sorry, the value of this knife uh, found online is $64.99. So if you'd want to buy this yourself, I think it was on Amazon I found this at, I'm pretty sure. But uh, $64.99, and that brings the total value, if you got the advanced box, up to $140.54. Now let's leave the advanced box behind and let's go to the pro box. Uh, this is something I'm, my wife is probably gonna like. It's a blankie! <laughs> a Kachula adventure blanket. So yeah, use your Kachula anywhere, camping, hiking, beaches, cabbing, boating, picnics, hunting, festivals, cookouts, and more. Features water and spill resistant, converts to emergency poncho, connectable snaps to join multiple blankets, anti-micro, uh, Stuffs into a pillow, zippered, or I'm sorry, zippered pocket storage. Um, interesting. So you can kind of see here, it does have a hood, so you can kind of wear this as a hoodie as well. Uh, and it wraps up nice and easy. So, uh, last time we sent a nice blanket, many subscribers said their significant others swiped it. What did I just say about my wife? What did I just say? Yeah, apparently, I'm not alone. My wife is probably going to swipe this from me. Uh, so this is probably not going to be a giveaway item. This is going to be kept at the house. If my wife doesn't swipe it, my cats will. Uh, we'll keep this one under wraps as long as possible, but it's friggin' awesome. Measuring 50 inches by 72 inches, this blanket is large enough for any adventure. But it's also great for the couch and popcorn. The blanket can stuff itself into a pillow. So they, I guess, uh, have that to stuff into a pillow. It has a snap attached to the hood to convert it to emergency poncho and is durable, water resistant, 
and packable. Uh, both sides are coated with an eco-friendly DWR finish to keep you dry, so it's water resistant. Spilled your lunch? Watch water and other liquids bead right off of it. Camping, backyards, vegetables, road trips, beaches, airplanes, and more. With, uh, with the Kachula Adventure Blanket, you can take it anywhere and do anything with it. Rain or shine, the Kachula is ready for it all. I'm assuming I'm pronouncing that right. Use that as a blanket, travel pillow, light sleeping bag, or even emergency poncho. Snap multiple Kachulas together for a modular blanket system. No matter where life takes you, the, the Kachula adapts to your adventure. Now, I... This one's hard to price. So, when I went online, I found these on Amazon. But I didn't find this actual design. And why that matters is because I found, depending on the design, it ranged from $59.66 all the way up to $78.30. Now, on the only one I can find this exact design at is on Battlebox's website, which is $89 on their website, which is more expensive than the most expensive one on Amazon. So, I guess if you want this ex this exact, which honestly this is the most this is the nicest looking in my opinion. Uh, the other one's more striped and stuff. So if you want one that looks like this, you'll be paying an extra ten dollars. So instead of seventy eight, you'll be paying well eleven dollars. Uh, seventy eight thirty, you're gonna be paying eighty nine. Uh, or if you don't care about design at all, you can buy one for as low as fifty nine sixty six. It's up to you. Honestly, I'm kind of glad I have this one. I wouldn't have really liked those other designs. Uh, this is going to be a Love It item. We have two Love It's. Uh, if you got the Pro Box, that brings the total box value up to $229.54. So keep in mind, the box itself, I got the Pro Plus, uh, with shipping, is uh, two, you know, might as well call it $200. So... We are now $30 over, basically $30 over the price of the box. And we still got the Pro Plus to go. So the Pro Plus, uh, and nicely so, is the most expensive item. Uh, and it's boasting an impressive $110.75. That's the cheapest I was able to find it for online. So you know that they would say it'd be more expensive, but, uh, you know, the actual MSRP. And that is We Knife Banter Folder. Yes, I said that correctly. We knife banter folder. Okay. I'm always up for a new knife. Let's take that off. It's pretty cool packaging. There's the box. Take this. Oops. Ooh, cool stickers. Really cool stickers. So we got that sticker there. We got this badass looking sticker here. Damn, that'd be a cool knife to have. Uh... We knife uh, product warranty and all that stuff. We do get a nice little microfiber cloth. Nice. Um, some looks at their other designs. Uh, that's a cool design right there. Uh, some more looks at other designs. Uh, the very, very important desiccant pack. Keep in mind, this this is where all of the money goes to, right here. I mean, people, they tell you, you know, it's, it's, it's a conspiracy theory. This is the most expensive thing in the box. Uh, this is like gold. Just don't try to sell it anywhere. All right, now let's get to the actual item. Uh, so, We Knife is the company. Banter is the name of the product. Uh, name of the knife itself. It has, uh, I have no idea how to pronounce this this wood. So, there it is on screen. I'm going to fuck it all up, but that's what it's actually supposed to be. I'm going to call it Cuborta wood handle. Uh, black stone wash finish and CPM S35VN blade. So, very nice uh, steel. Comes in this very awesome. Check this out. That's uh, very, very nice. Made better. WeKnife.com. Unzip it. Oh, ooh. That feels good. Oh, so that's cool. We got it. Yeah, yeah, this is obviously going to be a load item. This is obviously staying in my house. So. Oh, wow. That feels nice. The pocket clip is perfect. It's not, uh, you know, it's retentive, but it's not a pocket shredder. 
that feels, I, I wish I can explain how good that feels. That's just uh, really good. So it's tip up to where you get out of your pocket, it's ready to, you know, to push out. Uh, the clip is reversible. Easily, uh, it's easily able to be took apart to clean, which is uh, a big thing for uh, knives. Ah, opens up really nice. Uh, you do not have a flipper option, so your only option are your thumb studs. The bevels are even. Very, very nice. You got a little bit of uh, jumping up here. Uh, and just, it feels pretty good in the hand. That wood is very, very comfortable. Very sim uh, simple design. Uh, it would have been nicer if, I mean, I know it's not possible because there's no way to tighten it up, but if, uh, if it was like that on both sides. But, you yeah, know, I understand. Uh, you do got a little hole here to put a lanyard through. Uh, they did not include a... Uh, a string for a lanyard. You know, they didn't include the lanyard itself, sadly. Uh, really nice microfiber cloth. S35VN, I'm sure this is going to be razor sharp. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, oh, that sends you straight to ecstasy. Uh, <laughs> well, I was trying to see if I could just BS it and do like a bad cut. Oh, yeah. That's just a bit. That's not even trying. That was just going, oh, my God. That is a sharp knife. That's that's a good knife right there. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is a love it. Definitely. It's uh, not going to be an EDC knife. This is going to be a safe queen. So, uh, it... It's a little hard to open, but because it has that, uh, you know, it, because it holds you back a little bit when it does let go, it, it then makes it easy to open. Uh, you don't want a knife too easy to thumb open to where it just kind of, you know, easily comes up and over. At least that's how you like opening knives. If you do, just don't use a thumb stud. But if you want to open it quick, uh, yeah, it opens up very, very nice. It, uh, those must be uh, Teflon washers. Those are very, very smooth. That is an amazing knife. So, that's going to be a love it item. Once again, that has a value of $110.75, which brings the value is uh, uh, $340.29. So, yeah, total value, $340.29. That's pretty nice. That's your all your battle box. Uh, that means uh, you have an extra hundred and forty dollars and twenty nine cents in the box. You pay for the box two hundred dollars. That includes your shipping, and you get an additional hundred and forty dollars in value. Uh, we've got one, two, three love it items, which is awesome. A like it item and three mags. We don't have any dislike it, depending on how this does. Um, if I test this and I can't get it to go with the ferro rod. Then I guess when we do the, you know, when we talk about all the different boxes, I'll be able to say if this was a dislike it or not, because I'm hoping to test it by then. But so temporarily, maybe a, it might, it might be a, you know, hated item. Uh, but yeah, three maz, one love it, three love it, or one like it, three loves it. So tell me, what do you think about this month's battle box? Uh, did you like it as much as me? Are you a big fan of knives? I mean, if you're not a big fan of knives, you probably didn't like this knife. Uh, keep in mind, the, uh, the, the knife I'm now EDCing is, uh, the knife we got in last month's battle box. So, you know, I really don't need another EDC knife, which that would be a good EDC, but, you know, this G10 is going to hold up a lot better than this wood. This wood is very, very nice. I don't want it to damage it. I don't want to scratch it. You know, that, that, that that's a, that's a safe queen all day. And now I have an option uh, with this Holtzman. If I want to EDC a fixed blade knife, I now have that option with that knife. So, uh, honestly, there's the way I see it is the only things that's going to be going into giveaways uh, are these items. So, or, no, I said I was going to keep that. So, I, that's one way to tell how, good, how much I like this box. There's only, you know, 
I like spoiling y'all a lot. The reason my giveaways, you know, usually come around two, three hundred dollars <laughs> every month. But uh, I'm keeping some, you know, uh, I, I need more poison ivy stuff. I just want to go give them my truck. Uh, and I love his knife, so my wife's going to take the poncho or my cats, one or the other. So, so only two things uh, out of this box is going to be in a future giveaway. <laughs> uh, that tells you anything about how much I like this box. But that's all I got for you. Code word today is going to be banter. Uh, you can see how to spell it right there. B-A-N-T-E-R. Obvious reasons should be obvious. And yeah. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Don't forget to do giveaways each and every month. And uh, yeah. Oh, if you're wondering why I do code words every month, that's why, you know, the, that goes with the giveaways. So write down, write down those code words. And I will see all y'all in the next video. Uh, I'm actually filming this today after my birthday. I thought I was going to get this on my birthday. I was like, yay. But no, it actually came on the 9th. The 8th was my birthday. So, uh, you know, didn't get actually, I didn't get it on my actual birthday. So, you know, poo-poo on that one. But it, at least it was a good box. Oh, uh, so far, what do I like better? Uh, this box or the, uh, ooh, that's a hard, that's a hard one to say. Uh, cause we got Hunt and Vault. I'm gonna have to say Battle Box this time. Uh, I we haven't got Tack Pack yet, so it's not gonna be the overall greatest. But keep in mind, Hunt Vault is $140. So I get an additional $60 on top of that, and Hunt Vault had an amazing plus item. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it was. You're going to have to go to, uh, to the Hunt Vault video if you want to see what the plus item was. But uh, trust me, it's an awesome one. And, you know, I, 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 I guess I'll make up my mind when we actually do the comparison. My guess right now, based on how I feel, without testing all this stuff out first, my guess is I'm going to say Battle Box is better than Hunt Vault this, uh, this time. That may change. Like I said, we have not done that video and we haven't got Tack Pack. So, you yeah. know. Tentatively, I'm saying Battle Box beat Hunt Vault this month. Uh, Hunt Vault beat Battle Box last month. But uh, there's more items that I'm wanting to keep out of this month. There's more things that's useful to me. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to say Battle Box was better. But we'll get there in that video. Uh, we just, now we're just waiting on Tack Pack. Once we get Tack Pack, we'll do that video and then we'll do the comparison video. So hang tight. We'll see y'all then. Peace.